the east of Germany, next to the Polish and Czechoslovakian border, lays the state of Saxony. Saxony has a wealth of castles, fortresses and beautiful landscapes. After reading the Annals of Saxony, August the Strong and Anna Constantia, Imperial Countess of Kosel, make an interesting reading. The love affair was like fire. It was an explosive chemical spark that kick-started the virgin love affair into life. But how did it end? When it comes to August the Strong and Anna Constantia, separating legend from truth becomes tricky. But one thing is certain. Together they had three children and a good time for seven years. Let's find out more later. European castles and landscapes are famous throughout the world and Saxony is no exemption. The Moritzburg Castle, for example, is one of the many hunting lodges where August indulge in hunting wild boars, lynx and wolves. Visit the fortress Königstein for a moment. We find it inside a national park called Bastai. Königstein was built around 1230 AD, 250 meters above the river Elbe, and is an impressive assembly of more than 50 buildings. The fortress was never conquered by Saxony's enemies and was also used as a safe haven in times of war. You must be either very rich and generous or madly in love to give away a castle as a gift to your mistress. But August did. He may have said, Anna Constantia, take this castle as a token of my deep love to you. And just like that, the Pilgrim's castle changed hands. This gem is located east of Dresden and was extensively renovated by August the Strong. It is luxurious in design, has wonderful gardens and was mostly used as summer residence where lavish festivities were the norm. Noblesse oblige, or in other words, nobility obligates. August the Strong, King of Poland and Elector of Saxony, ruled a lavish court and created grand architectural projects that helped Saxony rise to political and artistic prominence. And his unwavering patronage of the arts helped the city become a European center of the Baroque. August the Strong had a passion for porcelain that made Saxony the birthplace of European porcelain, today known as Meissen porcelain or Meissen, China. Like the French King Louis XIV, August was a flamboyant noble who had an extraordinary good taste for the arts. He also loved women and changed his mistresses quite a few times too, often for political reasons, but mostly because his flesh may have been weak. A man of extravagance, August built or redesigned some famous buildings like the Zwinger in his capital Dresden. His summer residences, the Pilnitz Castle, Moritzburg Castle and Hubertusburg Castle were also used as hunting lodges.
The Imperial Countess of Kosel was one of the most dazzling figures in the history of the German state of Saxony. She had a sparkling intelligence, was funny but proud and had a gift for politics. Rumor has it that he smoked pipe and skillfully handed all sorts of weapons. When August and Anna Constantia first met in 1704, sparks went back and forward, and both were captivated with a strong desire for more. It was sexual desire for August. After all, he fathered nine illegitimate children born by six different women. For Anna Constantia, it was also a springboard to enter the court of Dresden. Constantia held August for 10 months in suspense before she finally agreed to join him as his mistress, but only after he signed a written promise to marry her. A smart move, but this promise became her fatality. And so began one of the most famous and tragic love stories in the history of the state of Saxony. For seven years, she accompanied August in everyday life as his companions in festivities, at political events, and even in wars. Like so many other love affairs, things went slowly downhill over the years. No one really knows what actually happened between the lovers, but there are a few explanations for example, Anna boasted about the written marriage promise August gave to her. August didn't like it and told her several times to stop talking about it. But Anna Constantia boldly ignored the warnings. However, it was more likely that August simply got tired of Anna and wanted a change. After all, he was not only physically very strong, he also loved beautiful women and had the sex drive of a stallion. And so it went. In 1713, August got himself another mistress and Anna Constantia was banned to a pilot's castle. A gift from August given to her during the prime time of their love affair. She was not allowed to leave the castle. In 715, she managed to flee to Berlin in Prussia, where she hoped to get her hands on August's secret written marriage promise to blackmail August. Big mistake. She was condemned as a state criminal and one year later arrested and exiled to Borg Stolpen. She was just 36 years old at that time. Burgstolpen is a fortress. It was built around 1100 AD and even had its own torture chamber, which was frequently used, of course. Torture was a common practice in the good old days. Everyone who was captivated by Anna's charm and tried to help her to escape was skillfully tortured and probably never saw the light of day ever again. Anna lived in the Kosel Tower on the fortress Burgstolpen from 1716 to 1765. She was not allowed to write letters or get in contact with the outside world. However, she retained her status as a noble and could keep all her assets. Anna Constantia, Imperial Countess of Kosel, died on 31st of March 1765 
at the age of 84 years at Boxtolpen, where she also was buried. She lived in the fortress for 49 years. Anna and August left a legacy that is filled with determination, personal courage, glamour and love.